एवरी वन दिस इज आलोक शर्मा एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई चैनल कैट एफ ई मैकेनिकल इन विच वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एन सी सो इफ यू आर ऑल्सो इंटरेस्टेड इन एन सी दैन सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड टूडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मॉडल एनालिसिस सो दिस वीडियो इज लाइक अ कम्प्लीट पैकेज अबाउट मॉडल एनालिसिस सो बेसिकली वी आर ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट दी आंसर ऑफ फोर डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट इज वॉट इज मॉडल एनालिसिस सेकेंड इज वेन वी डू मॉडल एनालिसिस third is why we do model analysis and the fourth one is how we do model analysis so what is model analysis we do model analysis in the domain of dynamic loading means when our design or our part is subjected to dynamic loading we do model analysis if your part is subjected for only static loading you can skip this model analysis and just design for impact stresses tensile and compressive stresses so for understanding model analysis first we have to know what is mode shape so first thing first what is mode shape so every object every material or everything has their fixed natural properties like their color their size their dimensions and various things similarly the mode shape is also a natural property of the material the only difference is you can see their natural properties like the color size and dimensions but you can't see the mode shape of the object this property is just like a shy people you also have seen these type of people they just can't come out for anyone they just want to remain hidden very can't type personality but if you annoy them if you annoy them to a threshold level then they just they just came out and do their things and become violent and shouting smashing type similarly mode shape can't be seen in the object but when the object vibrates if the excitation frequency of the force by which we are vibrating our material reaches the natural frequency of vibration of the material then the mode shape will come out and resulting in the very higher amplitude of the vibration and this large amplitude of vibration can cause the failure of the material or our design this whole phenomena is known as resonance so in the end what is mode shape so mode shape is nothing but the pattern of vibration of the material or our design when the excitation frequency of the force which we are applying just reaches the natural frequency or just hit the natural frequency of the vibration of the material then the pattern of the vibration which is something like very higher amplitude of vibration this pattern of vibration is known as the mode shape and this whole phenomena of reaching higher amplitude of vibration is known as resonance another thing is that one object has many number of mode shapes even infinite number of mode shapes unlike the property that one object has fixed mass fixed weight fixed colors fixed dimensions but one object has many number of mode shapes one mode shape will activate at its particular frequency another mode shape will activate at its different but one particular frequency and some another mode shape will activate at its particular frequency let us take an example of piston which is made up of aluminum alloy here we have calculated six mode shapes we will see here there are six frequencies now these frequencies is called natural frequencies and for the first frequency we will have our first mode shape for the second frequency we will have our second mode shape so we will see at these mode shapes our object oscillating very violently and they have very large deformation at these mode shapes because at the particular frequencies mode shapes come out and our object vibrates at very large amplitudes resulting in the failure of material or our design 
So that's why we do model analysis to find the natural frequency of our object or our design and which type of mode shape is going to form at different different frequencies so that we will reduce the vibrations in there and reduce their amplitude by improving our design. So how we improve our designs? Sometimes we have to change our material to improve our design. Sometimes we have to add dampers to improve our design. Sometimes we have to add material to those places of our part where the total deformation will be maximum. Now moving on to the next question when we have to do model analysis. So like I said earlier when our part or our design is subjected to fluctuating or repeated load then we have to do model analysis to find the frequency and mode shapes of our design so that either we will improve our design or modify that load. If the excitation frequency of the force will reach or come close to the natural frequency of our design while performing operation. So now moving on to the next question why we have to do model analysis. So let us jump back to the history. So you are watching the clip this is the biggest failure due to resonance and I think the origins of model analysis like history is also lies in this devastating failure. So what you are seeing this is the Tacoma bridge made in 1940. The steel gutters are installed in this to defend the bridge against bending. But on November 7, 1940, the speed of wind is 70 km per hour. At this time, you will see the bridge vibrates in its twisting mode. And its amplitude of vibration is certainly increasing because the force is oscillating the bridge and the bridge vibration is reaching to its natural frequency of vibration. At this time the frequency of vibration of bridge reaches to its natural frequency and the bridge collapses. There are also many other examples of failure of design due to resonance. So we have to avoid resonance unless you are designing to use resonance for your design. So moving on to the fourth question how we do model analysis. So I have already covered that topic in my previous video. You will see the link in the i section and the description below. So you can check that video. So I hope you will understand how we do model analysis and what is model analysis why we do model analysis and when we do model analysis so that's it for this video if you have any doubt or problem you can comment down below thank you jahin jabhari